Okay, welcome back to The Fish Files. I'm Randy, and once again, we're visiting Chris because in my wholesale operation, we don't have gravel on the bottom of our tanks. So I wanted to come to a real true gravel cleaner guy and clean he can show clean. us how easy it is and how effective it is to properly gravel, clean the gravel of the, of the bottom of your fish tank. So Chris? So when you put gravel in your aquarium, um, waste is gonna accumulate in there. And what you wanna do is every two to four weeks, go in there and clean the gravel. And the easiest way is using one of these, it's called a siphon vacuum. And what we do is we're gonna start a siphon. You'll need a bucket, a place to dump the dirty water. And then we'll slide this out. And then what you do is you just use gravity to start a siphon. Now, Chris, when you have an aquarium at home, you have a lot of fish in your tank. So yes. every two weeks makes sense. But can you get away with just once a month if you have a home aquarium? It depends on the load of the aquarium. If you have a fully loaded aquarium with lots of fish, you're gonna to wanna to clean it more often. But if there's a sparsely loaded with not a lot of fish in there, yeah, you can definitely get away with once a month. If you do enough plants in the aquarium and you do the right soil, like the, uh, the substrate, you generally never have to do this. The plants do take care of all the work for you. All right, sorry for interrupting your That's okay. awesome so, gravel cleaning. So once you have a siphon started, if you do nothing at this point, the aquarium will drain completely. But you can control that by using your thumb to regulate how much water actually is released from the aquarium. Now these gravel cleaners, this is an Aquion, are, are they all basically the same? Functionally, they're all the same. They have subtle differences between um, all the brands, but functionally, they're the same. So once we have our siphon started, we just go into the gravel, and this tank is actually pretty clean right now. But if you go spot by spot, you can get all the fish waste, and at the same time, leaving the gravel behind. So you're going in a kind of a pattern of, of up Try and down. Try and do a pattern. Yeah, okay. it, that way you get all the, all the spots that you want to get. Do you push it all the way? I push it all the way to the bottom. Huh. And the good thing about this is you don't have to take out the fish. The fish and everything can stay in the aquarium. You don't have to pick the aquarium up and take it to a sink and dump out all the water. It just does it for you. I just want to note that you're basically doing a water change at the same time because you're removing the tank water and you're going to be replacing it at the end of this process with, with treated water. Exactly. And you can see all the dirt and muck coming up there. Like I said, this tank is pretty clean right now, so mm -hmm. you're not getting a lot. But there are spots that are pretty dirty. And then you do this until about half the aquarium is drained. Okay. So a tank this size would probably take about 10 minutes. 15 minutes of doing this. But that's yes. it, that's literally it. And then you okay. fill it up and you use a water conditioner and you're done. All right. Thank you very you're, much. You're welcome. Mm. Cool, now I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that's, that's how it's done. Uh, now I do wanna put another little caveat on that. This is this is a very heavily populated tank. He, he sold quite a few fish out of here, but it was full of gold rams just two days ago. So it is necessary to go inch by inch on this thing and clean it up. You have a home aquarium. You're using the one inch per one gallon rule. Uh, once a month is just fine, but that's that's a very thorough, proper way of cleaning gravel in your aquarium. And Again, buy an aquarium and then you can do this.